Hello everybody, Clint Seely here, coming to you with another Edit Toolbox tutorial. <clears throat> In this short tutorial, I'm going to be introducing to you and showing you quickly um, one of my favorite little tools. Now because this tool has so many options and there's so many really neat things that you can do with the outline design tool, I use it so often. <clears throat> that I should really extend this video into two or three maybe advanced tutorials, full-blown tutorials, and I'll do that. So if you get excited about this tool, um, go look for those a little, uh, a little later on, and I'll, I'll announce those um, when they come as well. But for the scope of this little tutorial or video introduction, I'm just going to kind of cover the outline uh, design tool in general and I'm going to quickly show you some of the really cool things that you can do with the outline design tool and how I use them. If you've watched a bunch of my other tutorials you'll know that I use the outline design tool to really spice up my designs a lot. <clears throat> but for you beginners, those of you that are going through the fundies class, you may not have had a chance to um, use the outline design tool and you'll see as you create your own original work and modify other designs that this may become one of your favorite tools as well so let's get right into it in the last tutorial that you may have just watched the previous one that I covered was the uh, fill holes you'll see here the fill holes um, feature and I created this starfish and I used the fill holes tool to add these little elements okay so just continuing on to that we can go right into the outline design tool what the outline design tool will do if you select you see it's grayed out right now over here see to the left here it's grayed out you have to actually select an object so if I left click on the starfish the blue part of the starfish and you'll see over here in the color film that only the blue part is selected now I could also click and select by left clicking here on this part of the color film I could select all of the pink as well or just the blue and you can and and I could select these individually the pink elements individually just by hovering over each element and left clicking them individually okay so what I can do here I have a few different options I can select the blue starfish and I can and I'm gonna take you through these one at a time so I have options here you'll see that all of a sudden the outline design feature is highlighted you say well Clint what can I do with that well you can do a million I and that may not I may not even be exaggerating that number you might be able to do like one million different awesome things with this with this tool so You'll, you'll understand why I can't cover them all right, right now in this short tutorial. Um, it may be more like 8 million awesome things. But let's just condense this down to a few um, so you guys, can, you ladies, can keep up. So what, here's a few things that I can do. I can put an outline stitch right around the edge of this blue starfish, okay? And I can leave it at that. Now, when I say outline, I have... Hold on just a second. Sorry, I got a tractor going by. I'm outside and we've got some construction. Okay. Um, when I say outline, well, I can put it right on the edge of this blue starfish. And I can do a single stitch. I can do a triple stitch. I can do a satin stitch. But at, even after I do that, at, I can change those to several different other things. And you could put it right on the edge. Okay. Or... I can I can lay that outline out away I can create kind of a buffer okay and I can put the outline away from the edge or on the inside of the edge also I can choose to outline not only the outside of the starfish but the inside as well which would leave outlines around every single one of these pink elements okay so first what I'd like to show you is I'm just going to put a simple satin stitch and then a triple stitch I'll, I'll hit the back button and put the triple stitch just on the edge of this starfish so the starfish is selected and I'm gonna go and left click right here 
outline design, I'm going to left click and a dialog box will pop up giving me some options. Now you'll see, let's go through these options. I can select the color here, okay, any color you want and that's going to be the outline stitch color. Now you could select just white and don't worry you can go change that color um, later if you want to so you're not you're not married to that color by selecting it right here so you don't have to waste a lot of time trying to figure out what's right and then we have the offset or the buffer okay the offset is um, I can't remember exactly what the default is maybe 0.00, I think um, I like a 0 0.01 um, but you can have anything that you want any kind of an offset and that's just the distance okay the distance from uh, let me go back to more tractors that's just the distance from the edge to where the stitch is going to be okay so I could kick this offset way up and the outline stitch might be out here or I could put a negative right here like this and then that would start kicking the offset negative and putting the outline stitch on the inside of the design okay let me get rid of that and then outline count how many outlines do you want so if you say if I was to say three it would give me three outlines now I'm gonna go through each one of these uh, these options and kinda of show you individually um, we have outline holes which if I check the outline holes as well what it's gonna do is it's gonna create not only an outline stitch here on the edge okay but then it's going to outline the holes of every one of these objects on the inside. So if you want just to stitch on the outside, you would uncheck the outline holes. Then what type of outline do you want? Single stitch, triple stitch, satin stitch. Okay. On, now on the screen itself, the single stitch and the triple stitch look very much alike. I usually go with triple stitch. That just makes it a little bit thicker okay kicks it up a notch just a little bit so you can really see it so let me I'm gonna I'm gonna keep triple stitch option checked outline count of one offset of 0 0.01 and a white outline actually let me I'm gonna change this I know it, it may be ugly I'm gonna change to black because a black outline will contrast against my background here so you can really see where it is let me hit OK and there you go now you, you may be thinking okay well that's great clip but why is this one of your favorite tools what's so special about that well nothing special about this is just a very basic use of the of the feature let me hit undo okay when I hit undo I can go and do it again let me left click outline design now let me show you the let me do three outline counts and maybe put this up to 0.05 with the triple stitch and hit OK and you can see what I'm talking about now so it's done a it's done a offset of 0.05 but it's done it three times so this is looking a little bit spicier here huh yeah isn't that nice maybe still not what you want maybe you want a satin stitch well hey let's do a satin stitch we can easily do a satin stitch. Let me left click outline design. And this time I'm going to go ahead and bring this back down to 0 0.01 and only one outline. But it's going to be, see, I'm going to click satin stitch right here. Let me left click that dude. And now you've got a satin stitch outline around your element. Hey, that looks great. Well, hey, let me, uh, let me go back again. I'm just showing you the different options that you have and you're going to soon figure out that there's are literally uh, one million different things that you can do it's ridiculous let me left click outline design and let's do outline holes this time but just a single stitch okay so we'll do outline holes and you'll see what's different this time all right it's done this but then it should well well Clint what did you do here Maybe I messed up. Let me see here. Let me left click here. Triple stitch outline holes. Let's see. 
everything should be at the very end. Oh, oh, okay, that it did exactly what it was supposed to do, but you can't see, you can't see the outlines here. It just got this put in the wrong order. This outline would need to be the very last thing, and it stuffed the outline um, between the blue and the pink element, no problem. I'll just go in here, select my outline element, and make sure I move it to the end. See, there we go. Okay, so there you go. So see here, look at that. So I've created an outline stitch. I use this very seldomly where I fill the holes. I usually don't do it that way, but that is an option. Now, let me show you something that I really like doing. Let me zoom in here. Now here's just one thing, one way that you can take this to the next level. Let me left click outline design and I'm just going to start with a simple uh, this time I'm going to let's maybe make this uh, a prettier color since I'm going to make this look really neat. Okay, maybe one of these light colors here. My offset's going to be 0 0.05. One outline, I'm not going to outline the holes and we're just going to do a single stitch. Let me click OK. Now you're thinking, OK, Clint, once again, that's just a boring running stitch, just a single stitch. Yes. But after you have made this running stitch exactly the way that you want it and where you want it, you can change this running stitch to anything you want. I can left click on this running stitch to select it, and then you can go change the object properties of that running stitch. Left click there. And see here we have a drop down menu where I can drop down and change this running stitch, this single running stitch to anything I want. I really like the candle wicking feature, okay? So let me left click candle wicking and I'll change it from the colonial four and a half millimeter. I like this for, for an outline candle wick. I like the not three millimeter. Let's hit apply and see what that looks like. Uh oh, uh oh. Now it's starting to look really nice. Now now can you see how you can make things really pop with this outline design tool? <clears throat> I could keep going and going um, and I could literally spend two hours nonstop showing you different features of the outline design. But I'm not. I'm going to stop here. I just wanted to give you a taste of it, an introduction to the outline design uh, tool, just so you can get um, an idea of the things that you can do to really spice up your designs just using that tool. In more advanced tutorials, I, I revisit this tool many, many times throughout my tutorials. You will see that. So don't worry. Just keep going through my videos and watching my videos and you will become an outline design expert. This is Clint Seely. Thank you for watching.